and welcome again to AA Home Garden, guys, my beautiful stevia plant. Guys, if you're following me, you know this plant is going into its third year, okay? This is my natural, natural sweetener. This is not the stevia granules that they sell in the major supermarkets because, guys, I have dehydrated these myself and you will not get them as white as you have them in the shop. This is more of an off-white, slight brownish color, even in dehydrated guys. So you know the ones in the shop is highly processed and probably even coloring been added to it. This is my sweet leaf guys. My little lad loves to come in the garden and just chew on these leaves. And as you can see guys, I overwinter them outside every year and they come back. But guys, we're in the ending part of August. I should have transplanted this ages ago, guys. But I know there's always so much to do in the garden. So always been left behind. But if you come down, you can see where I cut it every single year. Even this one here. This one part that was cut back. I've dried out totally. But you can look in there, see where it was cut. And guys, this is a sturdy, sturdy plant. Yes, guys, this is my stevia. So, so good when I'm making. As I know, I don't take sugar in tea. But if I feel for anything a bit sweet, then I can just take a couple of these leaves, put it in there, and you get that like a sweet edge to your tea. And then inside of them is some kale growing that I'm going to try and save, guys. It was under the kale plant that I left the seed and some have dropped in there. So I'm going to try and see if I can say those. But guys, look how healthy this is. Look how healthy it is. Oh, guys, my stevia looking so, so good. So I'm going to try and get a container now. So you can see from way down where it was cut. So I'm going to get a container and see if I can transplant this beauty. So I can have it for years and years to come. Guys, this is some cherry leaves that I took from the front garden. So I'm going to use it as my compost and then it will break down. There's loads of hurtworms in there. So it will break down and be the new soil for my stevia. So I'm going to see if I can get it to the same height it was in. Same height it was at in that container. Then I top it up with some more compost. But that's all I'm doing, guys. Nothing fancy. I don't have much compost. So I'm making do what I have, guys. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Just going to see if I can take this thing out without damaging it, guys. And as I said, I don't have much compost. So whatever compost is in there going to be recycled. So let's see. Oops, lazy. Don't want to break that either. Guys, Stevia is so good to incorporate in your garden. If I can see, see once the um wow okay, so it wasn't like totally totally root bone, but I can see there was a lot of root in there. So I'm gonna get some compost now, fill it back up to that height. It could probably go down a little bit more. So hold on, I'm gonna take out some of the leaves to get it back to the same height it was in. Hold on, I've taken out some of the leaves i can see it's sitting much better in the container now guys the stevia plant is so good i've encouraged you guys over the years to grow your stevia and i've hope you have followed the advice and started growing your stevia guys because it's one of those natural sweetener that is definitely worth growing guys this is so so naturally sweet so I'm just topping it back up first with the leaves that I took out and then I'm going to look some compost and fill in the rest guys so that's all I'm doing let me know in the comment section how do you process your stevia I normally just dehydrate it and then I can have it to use all over the winter month so like these can start harvesting now but I let it grow on a little bit more and then probably mid-September thereabout 
I'll start harvest it. I'm gonna fill it back in with some dirt and then come back. There's my stevia, guys. Yes, guys. All repotted. All is left to do now is to water this in with some nettle and comforty. Guys, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They come back every single year. You just have to protect them from the direct frost. So I keep it in my makeshift polytunnel that is still exposed to the element, guys. Just take off the direct frost from off the roots so it can actually just stay and don't freeze totally through. And then as soon as late spring comes up, then my stevia plant bunks back to life. So yes, guys, this is natural, natural sweetener that we can make with, we can put it in cookies, you can put it in your smoothies, you can put it in your tea, whatever way you will use natural, well not natural, any way you use sugar, you just substitute it for this natural sugar. This is my stevia plants all dry guys, all dry, but the thing is guys, I didn't bother to put it in a dehydrator because it wasn't a lot and I couldn't bother to turn on a dehydrator because I know it takes forever. So all I did was put it on a kitchen towel here and then i rest it on top of my refrigerator and now this is two weeks two weeks drying out guys can you hear that sound dry dry okay and actually i found some that i had from last year that i didn't even finish using so you can hear guys they're dry this is two weeks i'll show you the one i had from last year as well hold on these Guys, I still have some leftover from last year. So see, I'm telling you, the stevia granules that you buy in the supermarket, they're not real. This is the real stevia from a garden. Can you see, you still have a greenish look to it. Let's see if I can open it with one hand and show you, hold on. So I've opened it now, guys. So I didn't even bother to blitz it in the food processor to get it super, super fine. I just left it like this and use it. This is a way to preserve it. If you don't take it off the plant before winter, everything dies down. So I took it out and guys, this is it. So when you do granite down, if you look at the bottom, bottom, probably more finer. It's still a brown color, guys. It's not that white process stevia granules that they sell you in the store, okay? So get yourself a stevia plant. As I say, I didn't even use a dehydrator. And I didn't use one last year as well. Because it wasn't enough, guys. So what I did, I just put it on top of the fridge. It's quite warm, okay? So all I did was just put it on a kitchen roll like this. Put it on the top of the fridge. And this is two weeks, guys. Two weeks. You can hear the sound. It's dry, okay? So I give it another week for it to be bone dry. Then I'm going to store it just like this. And that's it. So just take a teaspoon. If you want it in your tea, put it in your tea. That's it, guys. Yeah? Natural sweetener. Nothing artificial here. You saw the plan. You saw myself. I'm a little wood ladder. Harvesting it. That's it. Nothing added. This is what I call natural sweetener. This is not going to have any negative side effect on you where sugar is concerned okay so that's it guys that's the end of my stevia and um, video so this is how i reserve or should i say preserve my stevia over the cooler season and then all that's left now is to make sure my plant is kept alive and then it will spring back next spring so so yes guys for my beautiful beautiful stevia plant to your garden guys keep gardening and i see you on the next upload take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell